Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Watches tend to be made in Switzerland, and I think Switzerland is a little bit weird, so I've put together a little film to explain why. I hope you enjoy. cheese, chocolates and little folding knives, Switzerland is very much at the heart of traditional European life. Beautiful lakes and towering mountains peppered with quaint cabins certainly give the impression that life there is very simple, laid back. But Switzerland is far from simple. If anything, it's downright weird. Here's why. there's one thing the Swiss are known for doing better than anyone else, it's watchmaking. Keeping accurate time is the very foundation of modern science, without which an understanding of the universe would be impossible. How Switzerland came to be the epicenter of timekeeping, however, is not quite as expected. In 1541, French pastor and reformer John Calvin was invited to lead the church in the city of Geneva, where his draconian measures were adopted by government, giving him power to rule. His ecclesiastical ordinances listed such measures as the banning of dancing and jewellery, deemed luxuries unholy in the eyes of God. Even musical instruments were banned, including, at the very extreme, four-part vocal harmonies, Calvin proclaiming these pleasures to be an expression of vanity. And so the jewellery makers of Switzerland were left in a bind. With no customers, their skills were wasted. But in England and France, a new industry was emerging, watchmaking. And so the Swiss jewellers, already proficient at making small, fine objects, pivoted their trade into watchmaking. And the rest, as they say, is history. Except it isn't, because still to this day, in some parts of Switzerland, dancing remains banned on Christian holidays. The idyllic landscape of Switzerland may paint a picture of quiet tradition, but Switzerland is actually home to the biggest and most high-tech piece of equipment ever made by humans. I say piece of equipment, what I mean is a network of tunnels 16 miles long. What's so great about 16 miles of tunnels? These ones are uncovering the secrets of the universe. Based at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, and the birthplace of the World Wide Web, the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is a particle accelerator buried 100 meters underground that fires hydrogen particles at each other at near light speed, just to see what happens. In order to do that, there's 9,600 magnets and enough wiring to reach the sun and back six times over that requires cooling to a temperature lower than outer space and just a few degrees away from the coldest temperature achievable, absolute zero. Meanwhile, other parts of the LHC reach peaks 100,000 times hotter than the center of the sun. The proton beams created, each as fine as a needle, travel at 99.999999 991% the speed of light, with enough precision to be fired 16 miles apart and collide with each other dead on. The result? A step closer to understanding the fundamental building blocks of our universe, including the discovery of the Higgs boson, which won the 2013 Nobel Prize. That's 10 billion euros well spent.
Women's suffrage, the right to vote, has been contested for many centuries. In 1776, property-owning women were first allowed to vote in New Jersey, although that was repealed when the male vote was expanded to non-property owners. Wyoming followed over half a century later in 1838, Utah in 1870, and a tiny island off the British coast, the Isle of Man, in 1881. New Zealand in 1893 was the first self-governed country to allow women to vote, and from there followed Australia, Finland, Norway, and many other US states. By the 1940s, there weren't many places, certainly not in Europe and America, where women weren't permitted to vote. That is, except Switzerland. As the years rolled on, places like Israel, China, India, Iraq, all committed to giving women the vote, but still not Switzerland. It wasn't until 1971, just 50 years ago, that Swiss women were allowed to vote. Except they weren't. Not all of them. Because Switzerland is a confederacy, a collection of states known as cantons operating in alliance with one another, central government cannot enforce the ruling everywhere. And so, in some Swiss cantons, women had to wait even longer. The longest, the canton of appenzell einerhoden which only overturned the ruling in 1991. Pets are a great way to make life more fulfilling. Owning and caring for a pet is not only rewarding, it's also emotionally healthy, and it's why pets have been such an important part of human life for over 10,000 years. But it's a big responsibility, and keeping an animal must be taken very seriously. The Swiss have an especially strict perspective on this. Want to own a dog? Up until 2016, you were required by law to take four hours of classes first, and not just for the first dog, every time you got another. New owners had to take an additional theory test as well. For cats, if you only have one, it must have daily visual contact with other cats. For social animals, however, the rules get even tighter. For city dwellers with no room for a larger pet, interested in buying a hamster, gerbil, rat, rabbit, guinea pig, or other social creature, it is required by law to have more than one. What does that mean when one of the poor critters eventually meets its maker? To avoid the perpetual cycle of buying another friend to keep the remaining animal company, there are Swiss businesses that let you rent instead. Weird, yes, but I think we'll all agree, good. thing about Switzerland is to be found in the very people themselves, their names. In fact, what's weird is just how ordinary their names are. Of course, if you have a child in Switzerland, you'll be wanting to name it, but not without the express permission of the authorities. And it's not just a case of submitting a name and waiting to get the rubber stamp of approval. Oh yes, there are rules. For instance, the name you choose must not harm the child's well-being or be offensive. Okay, so that's fair enough. Your kid wouldn't be too grateful if you called them Ben Dover. But it gets even stricter than that. You can't give a boy a girl's name and vice versa. Villains from the Bible, their names are banned too. 
brands, they're off the list as well, even the brands that were already names. How about the beautiful name of the place your child was conceived, perhaps? Band. Surnames as first names. Band. Oh, and if the name you want isn't already on the approved list of names, that'll soon be banned too. Keeping a country like Switzerland as beautiful and traditional as it is, requires some pretty strange rules. Some make a bit of sense at least, others not so much. But Switzerland wouldn't be what it is today without them. And that's weird. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do let me know in the comments below and I'll try to do more like that. Please also like and subscribe to the channel. This is my personal channel, so it's very much appreciated. If you want to see more of me talking about watches, head on over to the Watchfinder channel. And until next time, thank you very much and goodbye.